episode 71. 71. That was the curse. I didn't name the number of the episode. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we just did a, an episode, kind yeah. of. And it just, yeah. yeah. My Civil War facts were pretty good, though. Bust them out, Might dude. have to break Bust out some out. Civil I, War facts. I need facts. to hear them, dude. Oh, Abner Doubleday did not invent Stop, baseball. Dude. Wow. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. How, how do you oh. figure? Historian James McPherson just told me. He found the actual Dead Sea they Scrolls found the, of baseball? They found the Dead Sea Scrolls of baseball. And it was just some guy like, run uh, in a triangle and hit the ball. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was That's a That's a wild of, fucking sport to invent. It's a bunch of old dudes from New York. And the, it was a young man's game, and they had to reinvent it. It wasn't the original invention, but it, was, it just... What I was think, the original b-ball like? I think it like? just predated uh, Abner Doubleday. So, but it was it was definitely the idea of like throwing something at someone, yeah. them hitting it. Do you think they had the tr- the diamond shaped baseball at I, first, I think or so. it was like run back and forth three times? It, who knows? Who knows, Matt? We may never know. When did the umpire come about? I don't know. When did they start going? Steve, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> um, basketball was. Uh... Originally, I feel like there's something with like a peach basket or some shit. That makes sense. I see them every now and again in the city where it's like a, a big piece of plywood with like a milk crate. And I'm like, all right, come on, guys. These fucking things are like 40 bucks at Toys R Us. You're not that poor. Knock are, off the auto. You, knock off the autobiographical bullshit. Are you like, I, used, I used to shoot on a thing. It's like, dude, they're like fucking 40 bucks. Where'd you even get a milk crate? James and then you, Naismith. Uh, and they still give out the Naismith Award. He invented basketball? Yeah, supposedly. But then again, if you look up who invented baseball, it says Abner Doubleday, and he did not. So. I bet. Yeah, that's true. I, that's, uh, I bet the original baseball was like only played by girls, and they it's threw fucking, under, they threw James underhand. Naismith's from Canada, dude. What about? You think a Canadian Some invented fucking basketball? fucking Canadian probably. Yeah, this is ridiculous. That's not true. That was this the original baseball, dude. It was just all girls played, and they threw <laughs> the ball underhand. Then he became the head coach. At Kansas. Who? James Naismith? Yeah, after he invented the game, he was the head, head coach, and he, he went 55 and 60. This guy fucking Why sucks. Why would he just be the commissioner of the whole thing? Imagine inventing a sport and then being less than 500. That sucks. Yeah, you fucking you suck, at least dude. give yourself like another couple of years to get really good at yeah. it. Anyway, yeah. so there's our sports talk, dude. <laughs> get fired up. I Actually, I've had a good sports day. Spent what? a lot of time watching uh, Notre Dame offensive guard Phenom Quentin Nelson. I've been watching his Pancake highlights all people. day, just fucking up dudes. How long can you watch sports for? Like, if you sat all day and watched sports, that's just, like, awesome? No. Because I, I don't know. I've never no. understood that. Some people can. If I'm drinking, it's yeah. fun. Like, if you drink and watch, like, the NCAA tourney this Thursday, that's fun. I never can get into it, man. I don't know what it is. I've tried so many times. You when just... I when I finally watched the Eagles, like, the two <laughs> games they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. I was like, I was outside. I was doing a, I was working for my cousin and dropping a delivery off to a, U, a union job site. And this guy's like, "You see the game last night?" And I was like, "Yeah, I did." And I was like, "You <laughs> thrown about it." And dude, once you get into, I was like, it just takes away so much social anxiety to just know what's going on in sports world. Um, so if someone's like, "You see the game?" I'm like, "Nah." Then there's a guy like, "The fuck, man." And I'm just yeah, like, you gotta watch. Sorry, you gotta dude. watch the birds, dude. I know, but if you're it's a like, Philly guy, dude. When I fucking birds. when I when I watched it, I was so excited to be like, oh man, he was Aaron. He's like, oh brother. It's like you can say anything <laughs> as long as you watched it. It's just something you can talk about that someone will be like, oh yeah, dude, yeah. totally. Well, and when people disagree about it. It's so funny. I'm like, well, actually, and it's like, I was just with my friends. He'll be pretty good. I was like, just I with my so. friends this weekend, and they were watching like fucking golf. Really? They, they can watch anything. I can't. My dad can watch anything. Well, are they betting on it? They bet on a lot. Yeah, that increases what you. Yeah, can my watch. dad started betting on NASCAR. He's Dude, been watching NASCAR. That's actually really fun. Betting on NASCAR. Dude, you want to talk about Jesus Christ? Sorry, I'm trying <laughs> to take my jacket off. <laughs> you want to talk about like how boring sports are? NASCAR is right up there with golf. Put some, as far as put some fucking money ass. on it, dude. Even then, I, I never know what the fuck's going on. It's not just a straight fucking race. There's like a, the there's like a nine million there's laps. Fucking pit stop. There's fucking all types. I mean, of it's shit. literally the Daytona 500, dude. Yeah, it's nuts. I did it once. I was at a party and we had a. I think I said this before. We had like a. It's like three or four hours long. Yeah, but still, dude, it's fucking it sucks. It, all you do is you watch the last like two minutes. Yeah, yeah, and If yeah. you're if you're in like if you're within that on that, that's pretty much all sports. Just watch the fourth quarter. If it's not a close nah. game, you don't watch. If you catch a close fourth quarter, that's when sports are fun. I'll watch Notre Dame practices. What? I'll watch fucking Notre Dame spring practices. That's online. pretty. That's pretty like, cool. I'll watch their highlights on there. I'll watch the spring game. Which is just a scrimmage. 
we had an eighth grade teacher take us to hockey flyers practice and i was just like this is so fucking dumb get me out of here i was just even just like it it was a field trip and i was like why did you waste our field trip on this shit what i was so mad damn dude yeah i was like i don't know this sucks it's fucking cold you got to see the flyers i didn't care (laughs) <laughs> and I hated my teacher so much, and she liked the Flyers, so I was like, I hate the Flyers. <laughs> I was like, I was just being a dick. Yeah, the Flyers fucking suck, dude. Yeah, man. We had a teacher that used to, uh, and this is kind of weird, she used to take pictures of us. Yeah. Like, she would come to all our games, and she would, like, take pictures of the players. Now we're talking, dude. And she really liked my one friend, Tommy. What was she doing and with him? She would just take so many of these pictures of these kids. What? When I'm talking, like, from Pee Wee's... Like our entire t- time at St. Joe's. She was a photographer. What'd dude. she do with them? She would give them to us. I don't know if she kept some spares around there. Did she ever like, you ever catch her plucking any of your hairs out of your head? Not me. She didn't like me. She was interested in old Tortuga, dude. Really? She good. You may remember him as Young Lad from the Notre Dame trip. <laughs> he was a real sweetheart, this kid. <laughs> so they're just taking pics. She's just taking pics of you guys. Right now he's laughing in his office as would he's she, listening to this. Would this. she give them back to you guys? Like, here's a picture. I yeah, yeah, yeah. She has some sick pictures of us. But in hindsight, it's like, that's pretty weird you're taking pictures of fifth graders playing football. Did she football. have kids herself? No. Uh, yeah. No kids. Yeah, the less... Really nice lady, though, so yeah. kind of shitting on her on this, but I mean, that's a weird behavior. There's a lot of weird behaviors that you get older and you look back on and you're like, well, that's, you don't have, if you're older, that's kind of weird. If you're older and you don't have any kids, it's like, it starts getting weird. Yeah. I went to my niece's birthday party, and when you don't have any kids, no one says anything, but like, you show up, everyone you know has kids, and everyone's kind of looking at you like, what's up, toucher? So what the fuck are you doing here? It's just weird. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm just here for my niece's birthday, and they're like, "Where's your kids?" Like, oh, I don't know. Well, I have a podcast. And, uh, <laughs> I have I'm, two dogs in a podcast. I'm like, I, I won 2016 <laughs> Philly's Funniest, so like, I'm uh, pretty much just focused on my career right now. I'm about to get a hundred bucks this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, you roll up and you're starting to be like, yeah, I feel pretty weird. Yeah, I hear you. All my friends, I just, I got a fucking envelope up there from my friend is. Uh, Wedding and wedding invitation. Mm. The fucking invitation's worth more than my life. Yeah, they do. Those it's like are crazy. fucking velvet ribbon. The inside of the envelope was like nice flowery pattern. You should just on the inside. Tape it up. Use I, it as I, a manhood, I, I bro. Fucking, I didn't throw it out. Use it just as a manhood. Sit on the table. I'm saying. Shout out Brian Morris. What up, bull? You should wear that. I'm thing. an RSVP on my podcast. You're going. Yes. <laughs> plus one. I'm bringing my bitch, dude. <laughs> I thought about writing that on the fucking. <laughs> Plus one, yeah, guest, my bitch. Oh my everything's God. like real nice, cursive yeah. and shit. I'm like, welcome to my rat. And his, his dad dad's was a fucking rat. rat, dude. Yeah, they're all fucking ratty. Everyone's like, my dad's in the mob. I'm like, no, you're not. Every Italian yeah. swears to God their uncle's in the mob. And it's like, dude, he took like one bet in his life. My dad's a bookie. <laughs> <laughs> and he, 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 somebody bet, somebody, he's going to be pissed that I said that. Whatever. <laughs> my dad's a bookie and somebody bet like a lot of money. And then just didn't pay him. Really? Kind of called his fucking bluff. And my dad was like, I guess I'm out. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, what are you going to go? It's like, what am I going to go break this guy's legs? Exactly. He's like, I'm fucking 50, Shane. Yeah. I'm not going I mean, to we jail. can't go fucking attack a guy. <laughs> and he's like, so oh, that was it. It's a bogus move for sure. I think I shouldn't have just ratted on my dad, dude. I just Henry Hilled my dad. <laughs> we, can bleep, we can bleep it. We just say like my... Nah, whatever. Fuck it. I mean, I don't think anyone gives a fuck. Yeah, no it. one's going to care. It's almost I just like, don't want somebody to get a good idea and be like, oh, yeah, I can just bet Shane's, <laughs> Shane's dad's a bookie. I can just place a bet with that idiot. That's a sponsor, dude. Not pay him. Hey, what, my dad the bookie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're sponsored by... Get him some action, dude. Dick Hoods from Canada and my dad the bookie. <laughs> also fracking. Still fracking. They've been funding us We nicely. should get him action. We should get it. Yeah, these, I don't think he's taking action anymore. Really? I haven't seen you him take some action, He used dude. to be on the fucking phone nonstop. Why don't and just you be become like, a bookie? You'd be great at it. You watch being sports. A bookie? Yeah. You're no, big, I you watch sports. I would suck at it. Why? I can't be a bookie. Why? It is a suck. I tried it and like it's Well, first sucks. off, I'm poor right now. So what? I'd have to bank on that Don't first pay. guy losing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Whoever he took, I'd be like, come on, LSU. <laughs> it would just be you I got the Bulls and the I would under. Just, I would on. just call in and be like, I got five on the I got five bucks on the Eagles, dude. Just be like, all right. You'd have your little pad. <laughs> oh, I'd be what would your what would your handle be? What would your nickname be? Fucking okay. <laughs> Safe dick, dude. Covered, Safe dick. covered dick. Manhood. <laughs> Got a nickel on the birds tonight. Safe dick has a nickel. <laughs> I forgot. I just watched Hardball, and I remember they had like nicknames. Oh, dude, I can't wait to have kids. Yeah, and just 
be like, oh my god, it fucking threw. I can't believe. You are you in actually there. trying? Are you trying to have kids? I'm not trying to right now, but I'm gonna take love that to. hood off. Oh, dude, no way. This. Oh yeah, going. this thing gets. It gives you a really leaky unit, dude. Does it? Yeah, because you're, dude, it feels so good. So manhoodcanada.com is really working for you, right? Oh, dude. I, oh, yeah. We didn't talk about this, dude. You have a. Oh, yeah. We didn't talk about this at all. We didn't. No. It was the last cast. Yeah. Matt. Matt uh, has his hoods. So yeah, I got him on. Got. He's wearing a hood on the tip of his penis as we speak to each yep. other and make eye contact. Exactly. And I have a <laughs> hole in my sweatpants, and I keep playing with it through my sweatpants. He's been grabbing dog. his dick throughout. But all right, here's what here's what I'll say. I uh, you know, I'm not bragging. I I definitely. Short changed myself. I thought I needed the, the absolute smallest one because, like, dude, again, when I, it gets so teeny, dude. It's such a teeny little tenis. Every you have now a and tenis. Again. So I'm like, I'm, I was just praying, like, please let these things fit on my dick and not fall off and embarrass me. And I don't want to tell Randy, like, hey, dude, I'm not cut out for the manhood. You don't want to tell Randy from Manhood falls Canada off my tiny that you have penis. too much of a tenis to <laughs> yeah. wear his stuff. Put on the small size, bro, and it's, you know, it's fucking squeezing me. You got a tight fucking package on your dick right now it's fucking it was squeezing me so i said hey randy i don't you know i don't want to be fresh but hey ran hey ran i needed i needed at least a half size not a whole size up so let's you need go me a bigger bigger hood let's go dude so randy's dude that his job is the best he just literally talks dongs all day long you think he that's just, a good you hit job? him up fuck yeah dude you hit him up and he's like what you work what you working with all right you cirked all right does he? He doesn't say circed, right? Circumcised. Oh, I wish he but said he's like, did you, you, I think he says cut, and he's like, "Well, do they oh, leave you? Cut. They leave yeah, you a little true. skin. What do you got? Loose cut? You got tight? Did you ever get chafing, dude? He just talks. Like, I just he's all, talking shop. He's, he's talking shop. He's a mechanic talking all day dicks. long, dude. I mean, it's like there's no one. I was like, dude, let me fucking please work for you and just talk dongs. Just be a dong appraiser. Like send pics. Let me see what you're working with. You got hook shape? Wow, look at that thing. What do you think of hook shape? That's rare. You I like was that? thinking about hook shape recently, and You're I was like, "Hooking up, hooking to the side." Oh, one of those. But that's kind of a girth illusion. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, it's curved, but it's curving to the side. So, think about that. It's a girth illusion. <laughs> <laughs> what is there to think about? What are you talking? It just about? gives you more girth because you're you're hitting the, uh, you're hitting with an angle. Oh, okay. So it's creating the. As it's hooking, you're measuring girth, but from what's touching what? I see. You, you think know? that girth illusion also could cause some major queefage if you had a curved Ooh. dick like that? You ever think know. about that? Because that's know. hooking in air every time. You could create a hurricane, really. That's a you perfect... Create, that's probably what happened with Katrina. That's an Alberta clipper right there, dude. That's That'll, fucking... <laughs> next thing you know, your girlfriend's queefing so hard, she's shooting out the window. She flies away out of pure queef. We'll have to take calls one day and ask if people like the, uh, the hook. About the hooked dick. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I would, th- I would just. You got any hot cousins? You should probably just ask a hot cousin. If they like, why, why do I have to ask my hot cousin? I can't just ask anyone normal. I don't have to ask my. Talk hot... to Randy. See, I'm sure Randy's talked to some people with hooked dicks. It'd be like, does it cause queefage? I'll, have to, I'll, I'll check in with our sponsor yeah. and see what's going on. With check that. in with manhoodcanada.com and ask him what's I'll... the best dick for minimal queefage. Probably, dude. I got a straight soldier. With straight a, missile. I got a straight soldier with a fucking mushroom tip. I got the plunger, classic plunger. Oh yeah, we. <laughs> so, the plunger. I forgot. That thing. That thing is the. Uh, maybe it could. It might. I don't. I'm not gonna think about it. But the, <laughs> 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 what I was saying, dude, is that so? I I wore it for four days and I was skeptical. You wore a hood that you bought online or yeah. <laughs> bought online from Canada on the tip of your dick for four days. For yeah. four. For and four I, days. I believe I. I think I have four or five. I'm not sure. So I'm wearing. One, one. I'm saving two for my brother, so I, I'm, I'm not wearing two. Just Your brother wants some hood. I'm gonna chuck a hood or two. To, I'm gonna chuck a two to my brother. So Which one of them though is made out of like almost like a leather daddy I think material. I know what brother it is. Yeah, you can probably figure Honestly, that. I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think I have a pretty good idea who it is. <laughs> so it's like one of them's a little bit leather daddy-ish. So I've been hesitant to wear that. It's a little leather daddy. You don't want that. It's just ah, the fabric, but the rest of them are just like it's literally like I put it on. You don't get any sensitivity the first day, but like. You just feel like it's like a bra for your dick, and I just feel like really comfortable. I feel like a part of me has been missing, and I put it on. I'm just kind of like, nice. I feel secure. I'm telling you, you chuck it, you strap this thing up and start moving around. This is great. It's, like, it's I, awesome. Do you think Randy's listening? I hope so. Probably. I hope Randy hears this because that was a fucking glowing, glowing review. I'm telling you, dude. But then, so then I put it. So then I, dude, I get four days. I'm trying to have sex every day to test this thing out. You know, the bull has to stay in the stable, dude, till Sunday, the Lord's day. And dude, I was fucking, it just felt so, it was, it's so sensitive. And I'm only four days in. I, apparently after like two weeks, you get the real, the real feel mm. back. You get some color back in your helmet too. 
Gets you a nice little purplish hue. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, that sounds like you're cutting off Cirque. Nah, dude, it's cocking nerves. Cutting with, off some circulation. Nerves. <laughs> you tip your dick, dude. You're gonna lose all sensitivity, dude. It's so sensitive. Yes, <laughs> it's no, it's so. I can't wait till you damage your dick. I'm with not this damaging thing. my dick, dude. It's better than ever. <laughs> your dick's purple. Hey, a little bit. It's coming back. I'm telling you. you I get, don't think that's coming you back. Get the color back, dude. <laughs> There's no color you're, coming back. Yeah, you're ashy, dude. You got fucking. You got an ashy dick. <laughs> <laughs> so then, dude. So then, finally, I get blessed Sunday. You get blessed with some. I was, I was telling you, dude. Pussy. I got blessed with some fucking pussy, dude. And then, like, and the only that's like, pussy with two Z's, right? Yeah, exactly. That's fucking Sunday so pussy, we, dude. We tried to do this earlier, and you know, we got fucking our shit got side railed. But basically, what I was telling Shane is that, dude, when I crumbed. And he was like, "Well, how do you know if it, you know if it's good?" And it's like I judge by, uh, and I got like six, dude, six, just like uh, 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 I'm good for two or three. Uh, uh, and this dude, I was just you had six orgasmic convulsions. Yeah, and the dude, it was it's so funny to think about the people listening to us through the vents. Oh God! Just hearing, <laughs> just hearing Brittany like. And they're like, dude, come here, check this out. And then he's here. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, as I was coming, I was like, I sound like Wario getting spun off the track in Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest though, the it's not as nice and flowery as you I've heard. I've heard the entire interaction between you two. I've had many sleepless <laughs> nights with this. It's kind of two people going, eh, eh, uh, eh, uh. it's fucking nightmarish. Dude. I've stared at many a ceiling late at night, listening to you fucking shouting. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, I've been on the other end of that. <laughs> yeah, the worst is when she like yells certain things. I'm like, shut up. I've, be heard, like, I've heard, uh, I've, I've, like, I've heard you guys fucking and her say something like that, and you'd be like, Shh, shut up. <laughs> like I heard you be like, shut up, Shane's awake. <laughs> like he might hear us. I'm like, yeah, dude, I totally hear you. <laughs> what? The one time, the barn dog was like, our doors were smacked up next to each other. Huh. The one time he was taking a nap, and I just fucking, <laughs> I let it go, dude. We hadn't seen each other in two weeks, and it was just like, yeah. I just like walked out and was like, so my barn dog. That was gross. Barnage got to hear it. <laughs> yeah, dude. I wonder if I ever... Somebody said they heard the barn dog getting after it. <laughs> which is <laughs> gross as fuck, dude. I used to walk up and hear that shit and yeah. just be like, what? Yeah, the barn diggity. <laughs> yeah. Getting loose. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is, sure is... What like, is this, pussy? Oh. It is wet. Ooh. <laughs> I'm about to come? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, dude. Sick coming stories. Thanks. <laughs> so you wore the hood. Yeah. Sensitivity is phenomenal Through right the now. Charts, dude. The tip of your dick is getting its color back. It's yep. purple again. It's super. Well, as the good lord intended. There. Exactly. As a law intended your and purple I'm fe- dick. Dude, I'm feeling like I feel real. Just kind of. You secure. feel juiced up. I do. You got your tea back. I'm telling you, man. I'm. I'm your literally. Tea's at an all time high. But I told you, my girlfriend hates the fact that I'm wearing this thing. I think everyone, hates it, dude. everyone around you that knows you hates the fact. Even that you're like, wearing when I, this. I'll talk to people. Yeah, yeah. I went to my niece's birthday. You went to your niece's birthday, and were you wearing a definitely, hood on the dude, tip of your definitely. dick? And I'm like, I'm talk- yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling them, they're like, oh, it's up to that sponsor. And they're like laughing. I'm like, no, I got one on right now. And they're like, oh, Ew. they're like, really? And everyone, all the fun stops. Everyone's like, huh. all right, that's cool. No, well, see, that's what's weird about that is, so now, I know it's just on, and yeah. you're not constantly actively worrying about it. Mm-hmm. Although you probably are, you're probably thinking about it. It's getting second often. nature. My, I'm, I told you, it's my dong. It's all for nothing else. Just your flaccid state is so nice. Yeah, you, you got a thick thing. dick. We'll get to that in a second, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't though, dude. It's just it's, this no, thing. The, the, you got a girth semi at all times. Yeah, exactly. Which it is, is nice. Sick. It's very pendulous. You got pendulous. a nice pendulous swinging semi <laughs> yeah. at all times. But the idea that even while sitting at your niece's birthday, I saw your face while you adjusted <laughs> it, dude. Don't do that. God damn, dude. This shit sucks. <laughs> Fuck you, Randy, for sending Matt these fucking <laughs> Randy from fucking Alberta or wherever the fuck he's from. Uh, so while you're sitting at your niece's birthday, like while they're cutting cake, yep. singing, you have something on the tip of your penis 
and you're actively trying to have better sex. <laughs> That's all. It's, like, <laughs> well, it's just a weird. There is this definitely a sexual element to just being on you all day because it's definitely what's causing your semis. You have something kind of like yeah, you got brushed up. It. The yeah. tip of your dick's getting brushed. But it's also protecting it from it's just, snugging. It's snugging. Dude, when you first put it when you first put it on, it's like your dick disappears because you don't realize how much it's rubbing and touching stuff till you block it. Then you're walking, you're like, I can't feel my dick, and it's it's oh yeah, pretty it's crazy. That's gotta be nice. It's, it's actually really nice. I might need to uh, Chuck one on, take bro. one of those two free ones. Yeah, I gotta be certain, absolutely certain, it's not one you wore. No, I, I wouldn't do that. You can tell the ones I wore the. Uh, the, 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 the strap you can tell from it hitting Velcro, it's like a little fuzzy. Okay, so no doubt. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Chuck one on. I don't think I should. Chuck one on. Bro. I don't think I have it in me. <laughs> I don't think it's in my system. <laughs> That's the worst part is now, like, I love, I actually love wearing these things. So now it's like, I'm dude, sure you do. My girlfriend, every time, dude, I go to take a piss and she just hears like, <clears throat> she just like, looks she at hears me, the like, Velcro. She hears the Velcro come off. She's like, what are you gonna do when you're peeing in public? And all of a sudden it's like, yeah. Like, whip off my fucking manhood, dude. That's and a it, good sales pitch too at the, at the urinal. Exactly. Someone's gonna peek, and I'm like, yo, bro. You see this? What do you think of this? What do you think? You want this fucking? You want your flaccid dong to look like this at all times? So wait, does and he, she's the, like, I look at his and it's way bigger than mine. I'm like, man, whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you get a big size. The strap does it open at the tip, or do you have to remove it entirely to take a piss? Does it open at the tip like take a it off. like a pajama? Hold on, like a pajama bottom where the you know when listen, they used to listen, shit out listen, the back. This is it. Doing it in the mic. This is Matt's dick. This is my girlfriend here. Every time I pee. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ew, dude. <laughs> Hold that thing up. It's like a little thumb cover, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> you just have that strapped to the tip of your dick. Yeah. Bro, this is too much. I gotta put it back on. This is too much. Why is it too much? <laughs> you know why this is too much. Oh, you know that this is not right. <laughs> dude, I feel good about it, dude. Do you think, though, if we had a time capsule here and we showed Matt three years ago what you're up to right now stoked. with this I'd be stoked tip on. of your dick covered? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta adjust. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I get the bigger ones, <laughs> when I get the bigger ones, it'll cover more of my length. So the length comes with my width. length, dude. <laughs> shut the fuck up. You need, dude, you need to get, somebody needs to slap, your dad needs to slap you in the face. <laughs> like that, you need, where's Billy, dude? My dad, Billy's Billy, fucking stoked Billy, on Billy, listen up, dude. If you still listen to the podcast. Billy listens. You need to slap Billy's Matt. Billy's rich. You need to slap Matt and tell him to just stop fucking with his dick. Dude, I'm telling you, this is the way you're supposed to be. <laughs> it's the best. I've never, I'll tell you what, one, one bad thing about Manhood Canada is when you're putting it on... And making eye contact with your friend. <laughs> that's a real weird moment. <laughs> no, that's, that came out wrong. You're coming out? No, uh, I'm going to me too myself. No, I, uh, well, eventually. Um, <laughs> I watched this, uh, this movie called Call Me By Your Name. I think that's what it's called. That sounds familiar. It was up for a bunch of Oscars. Call Me By My Name or Your Name? I think it's Call Me By Your Name. Call Me By Your Name. Well, I gotta double check that. Okay. But it's uh there's a guy named Army Hammer. He's one of the th- Wait, that's his name? Yeah, his name's Army Hammer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Think he needs a fucking This is a real guy? Think he needs a tip cover? Yeah, this is a real human being named Army fucking Hammer. <laughs> his name is Army Hammer. Did he rape someone by chance? In the movie he rapes a boy and it's celebrated as love. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. It's fucked. Wait, so someone had a a, a son named Army Hammer? Yeah, call me by your name. Yes. Oh, that was the movie you were telling me about. That was a movie about a dude who fucks a boy. And it's like, no, but he loves him. And they're like, this is just gay love. It's like, no, dude, that's a fucking 16-year-old boy getting plowed by like a 25-year-old man. You who, told me you told me about this with the that's that's like the it's like the opposite of the professional or not the opposite. Oh, but, we did we talk about this Yeah, last we did week? talk about this, yeah. I think I talked dude. about it. I don't think I watched it. Oh, you didn't watch it? I yet. watched it, dude. Oh. I, was I watched gonna say, it. I was like, you're like the machinist, dude. You're Christian Bale. You're just living in like fragmented <laughs> days. <laughs> you know, there's this gay bullshit about a guy who rapes a kid. <laughs> you're writing notes to yourself on the fridge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just watched that movie last night, dude. I'm like, still. The movie's nuts. Because I pretend to be movie characters after I watch them. And I watched that last night. And Brittany's like, did you turn down the air conditioning or you turn down the heat? And I was like, I think I did. Did I? I walked to do it. I was like, fuck, I already did it. And I was like, no, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you watched this movie. So I wa- me and O'Connor watched this movie. 
And where were you each sitting? I got it. Well, that's something that came up because it was O'Connor in the recliner, Beezer and me on the couch. You guys had to split up. And then Beezer went to bed, and or, or me and O'Connor were like, "Let's fucking watch this movie." I gotta see this fucking thing. Apparently, I was like, apparently the kid comes in a peach. He fucks a peach and comes in it. Really? And the guy eats it. Oh, dude. So I was like, we gotta fucking watch this. There's no way that happens. Oh, dude. (laughs) So then O'Connor comes and sits on the couch right next. We're sitting on the couch together. And you know how I was talking about how we sit gay? Yeah. Like how if you saw your dad sitting gay, you'd be like, like, I was sitting like with my legs (laughs) up in in the middle. (laughs) Like, (laughs) I was like leaning like like that and uh yeah like someone's gonna feed me grapes and uh O'Connor sat down sat down and I was like dude you gotta fucking move back I was like this is already gay that we're watching it like you really gotta move back and he agreed and moved back it was pretty great he moved back he did the right thing there because as dude that movie I mean, here's the thing you don't want to push the issue of that situation I know, and then you and make be like gay. nah dude what the fuck we're fine I want well, to no, sit next I, to you I put it all out I made it very clear I'm like listen dude I don't want to fuck you at all but if you sit over here I'm going to want to fuck you so you got to move back uh, but when we went the movie was incredibly fucking gay really I mean it was a gay love story but it was like he came in the peach it was like yeah the kid fucks a peach and the guy comes up and takes a good bite out of dude. it does it um, show this kid coming? Yeah, at one point, the first time they fuck, the first time Army Hammer and this boy... Stop, man. First off, Army Hammer's married. Yeah. He's like a 31-year-old, 32-year-old dude. Yeah, there's think a lot. Of, think of watching your husband in a movie like that. Like, he's like making out Oh, he's him. a married man. Yeah, I thought you were saying life. Army Hammer was married to a woman no, and fucked Army Hammer boy. in real life has a fucking wife. Whoa. And maybe kids. I have no fucking idea. But... He's making this movie of him fucking this boy. Bro, how bad do you want to be an actor? How bad? Like, exactly, dude. There's some of these scenes where they're like... Can't be an, you can't just be like an extra or some shit? And you the gotta... boy, the way the boy... Like, at one point, he does the fucking gas mask. He sneaks into Army Hammer's room, puts on some fucking skivvies over his head, <laughs> oh, yeah. and is like sitting on all fours, dude. It's crazy. Wait, he gas masks... Gas masks himself. Army Hammer, he has a crush. So, Army Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say that. Army Big Dick Hammer. Is a so he's a teacher's assistant or a professor's assistant. Okay. He goes to Italy where this guy, this professor, is uh he's doing research and he needs a research assistant. And every year they get an exchange student to come to Italy. This is a porno. It was a porno. It was and that's what I said to him. I was like, this is just like an intellectual gay dude's porno. Yeah. Like it was so like they were looking at statues, him and the, the Army Hammer and the dad, and they're like, look how, look at the curves. There's almost daring you to be attracted to them. They're so sensual. And like all this shit. And so then, they like figure out each other's gay through statue appreciation? Well, that's the dad. It's the son who the teacher's assistant fucks. Okay. So a oh, teacher's oh, assistant. He's, he's like, I got you, I got you. So basically an exchange student comes and lives at their house, these Americans that live in Italy. Yeah. The exchange student comes and then he ends up fucking the family's son that he lives with. And like... So he is an exchange... He's just a guy from he's America. He's an exchange teacher living with an Italian family? An American family in Italy. It's well, an American how ma- professor. How mad would you be if you took someone in your house and they fucked your son? And they fucked your fucking kid? And they gas kid? masked your kid? Well, fucking... the kid gas masked himself. He's got a crush on Army <laughs> How does he gas mask himself? He finds a fucking... He finds a pair of skivs, puts them over his head. Oh, I thought you were talking about an Arabian gas mask. No, <laughs> what's that? That's when you drape your fucking Sammy high someone and drape your <laughs> dick and balls over their face and give them a gas mask. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck is he doing this? <laughs> no, this is just a classic gas mask. This is a classic okay. masturbatory gas mask. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So he found some old, uh, some old skivvies and put them over ew, his head. Ew. But when he does that, he like gets in like a very prone all fours position, like with his ass up and like his back arched. It's real fucking. Gay? The kid's real good. At, <laughs> yeah. The kid's real good at being gay. Yeah, I mean he's real gay. But at yeah. one point, the first time they fuck, uh, the fucking army hammer has cum on his chest. He like sits up, and you see cum on his fucking chest. And then the boy sits up, and also has cum on his chest. They're putting a lot more cum in movies now. They that movie was the most. That was a cum heavy film. Really. And it was all about 
uh, pretty much a man fucking a boy. Wait, so they're having sex and they both ha- somehow came on their own chest? Or I know. That's what I, well, that was O'Connor's question. I was like, hey, that can be done. Did they finish? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Yeah, you can both. If they got a little Requiem for a Dream on, got a you double both ender. Not, yeah. True. But uh, real fucking aggressive Ooh, movie. That's pretty... Uh, it's tough stuff. Dude, wait to see a 17-year-old boy go for the kiss on Army Hammer. He's like, he's real tongue heavy. He's like, uh, <laughs> his tongue out, licking the outside of his lips. And dude, it's like, I, I know. It's, that was a classic Bill Burr bit when it's like, dude, I'm not homophobic. Oh, yeah, when yeah, I see yeah. two guys kiss, I go, whoo, and I look away. Yeah. It's like, there is something innate. I'm not going to go with my truck and be like, you didn't hear any fucking fags. But like, when I see it on TV. <laughs> I didn't like that movie. When dude. I, I see almost, it on TV, I almost dude. got the Corolla fired up. <laughs> tried to round somebody up. Just going down around Woody's. Hey, you come here. You see someone you know, and you're like, no, I'm just down here beating up gay people. I'm not fucking <laughs> yeah. up. But I'm I like, gay, dude. I'll watch it sometimes, and I'm like, God damn, that's fucking just, that's just something else, man. And like, there's like an old guy be like, Andrew, I missed you. And like, come here. And like, grab him from behind. I'm like, Bleh! This is a very gay episode now that I think about it. We spent most of the time talking dick. Now we're on to yeah, how but, we're both definitely not gay. I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. You're like, well, it's all But I mean, we're also not like sniffing each other's buttholes and making out. It's like, <laughs> that's a line, dude. It's like, that's a line. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> the fuck, dude? That'd be gay, bro. But imagine if I came here and I'm like, oh, Shane, I missed you. I'm so happy you're back from Harrisburg. And we like stood by the window and I hugged you from behind, was like, put my chin on your shoulder and was like, you got to start staying here, bro. Like, Ugh, dude. It's just like, Ugh. Why'd you just do that? I don't know. Maybe if What's I started, your problem? If I started kissing up and down your spine. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't kiss my spine. I'm sensitive. <laughs> It's rough, dude. It's rough stuff. Wish you hadn't done that. It's rough stuff. Where I don't even know. Let me let's take a break. Wish you hadn't gotten this. It got me this hard, dude. <laughs> let's take a don't take you, a break now. Everybody's gonna think we <laughs> fucked. <laughs> don't take a break, dude. Call me Army Hammer, dude. You gotta see <laughs> What's Army. What's the boy's Hammer. name? Fuck. It's uh, definitely like Julianos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a real. He's got a ridiculous French name. Of course, his last name's like Sherlot Sherlot or some shit. Jesus Christ. You dude, this kid in the movie his name's Elio, Elio. Elio, of course it's Elio. Elio. And the gay dude's What's name is cool? Oliver. Wait, who's Oliver? Wait, who's the fuck's Oliver's, Warhammer? Oliver's Army Hammer. Oh, Army Hammer. Not yeah. War. Warhammer. Is Army <laughs> Hammer Army Hammer is this real fucking Is Army Hammer fucking this kid or what? Army Hammer is plowing this boy. Okay, thank God. I thought like Army Hammer is just a dad who's like I'm Army Hammer and I'm totally cool with this. No. Army Hammer is fucking Please tell me Army Hammer's fucking a boy. Umlaute? What are those things called? Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's got a little fucking little thing over thing. It. Little if fucking you, so Mexican if you, if you, bullshit. If you fucking had up our vowels. If you had to fuck a boy or we'll say Tell you what, this kid was old, pretty sensual. 18 year old. What is so you got to pick you're like you gotta fuck this boy, but you can pick the ethnicity, what would it be? What type of boy would I fuck? I mean, just say he's eighteen what years old. A... He's eighteen year old. Like you have to fuck an eighteen year old kid or teenage boy. But you get to pick the ethnicity. What are you picking? <sighs> That's a tough one. You go first. Asian sweet boy. All day. You want an Asian sweet boy? I mean, I'd have to. I figured you had an answer, which is why you were asking. (laughs) I've thought about this before. No, I wouldn't fuck a boy. You have to, dude. You got to pick one. No. You have to pick one. Who do you think? Would you go with a white dude? Nope. You go with like a stocky, like, frat guy with big biceps. (laughs) Nope. I'm trying to pick what you'd go with. What type of boy I would fuck? I got to pick an ethnicity. I'd probably fuck a black dude, dude. Yeah? Yeah, let him know. I was, actually, I, was, my mind. I was actually, that was my second guess for you. You thought I would go black. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm doing the fucking? Yeah, you'd be real gross about it, too. You'd come in all sweaty, like, come here. <laughs> feel like Black Snake Moan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the reverse. You'd be the girl. <laughs> yeah, I'd be the girl. <laughs> oh, please, no. <laughs> be like, listen, mister, uh, just <laughs> give me the 10 bucks. Listen, it's this challenge I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Jumanji fucking stunk, dude. Hey, I was just there. I was I like. I got you. I got you. I I'll, I'll just you. enjoy it. I, I stopped. if you were high. And you said, yeah, probably. Yeah, I was eating gummies. If you were eating, if that's I was where eating I did, gummies, I'd be like, this is fun. That's I went and took a bathroom break at Jumanji and came up <laughs> with my theory of like never expanding consciousness where I was in the bathroom just like, we just keep knowing more stuff. And I was like, I got to get back to Jumanji. 